everyone, and welcome to another edition of Ask Anything presented by Mosher Consulting. I'm your host, Angel Leon, Mosher's Director of Personnel. First of all, let me thank producer Brian for pinch hitting for me last week as I was out of the office when the recording took place. Now, I had a good reason to be out of the office, and that's because I was attending Indiana's Best Places to Work ceremony, in which I'm very proud to say that Mosher Consulting placed fifth among the large company category on the Best Places to Work here in Indiana. We also placed in the Hall of Fame of companies as well, having made the list nonstop for over 10 years. That's a great feat. We're very proud of this accomplishment, and we want to take a moment to thank all of our employees because without them, this wouldn't be possible. Everything we do as an organization is always employee-focused, so we're excited for this award, and as we've done every year, we will continue to improve so that our employees continue to be happy, engaged, and thrilled to be working for our organization. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming, which today includes talking about analytics. And with us today are two of our key assets in this arena. With me today to talk about why an analytics platform solution is a key asset to your business are Nathan Reinert and Brian McDonald. Nathan is Mosher's Director of Product Development within our Data and Analytics Division. And he is a seasoned professional with over a decade of experience in the technology industry. His commitment to excellence has earned him a reputation as a trusted leader and innovator in the field. Nathan is passionate about helping organizations drive value from their data and is committed to delivering the highest level of quality and service to every client. He's eagerly looking forward to the opportunity to help your organization achieve its technology goals and drive sustainable growth for years to come. Brian is a technology leader and innovator that has a diverse background in the technology space. He loves to build products and services that will stand the test of time and be scalable and dynamic in their use. He enjoys working with a variety of clients and organizations to drive innovative solutions that will get the most of their data. He is committed to giving organizations the best solution that fits their specific needs that's most of value to them. Creating the tools so that the organizations can make database decisions is what motivates Brian to be creative and drive toward long-term solutions. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us and asking anything for the very first time. We're very happy that you're with us. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks. Doing great. All right. So let's start with the basics. Analytics as a service. I read that and I ask myself that question. What is analytics as a service? How does it differ from traditional data warehousing solutions? I think it's, there's quite a few key elements that it differs. Infrastructure comes to mind, scalability, cost, expertise in the analytics space, agility, time to value, and I'll delve into each one. So analytics as a service is a cloud-based service model that provides organizations with analytical capabilities and insights without the need to invest in building, maintaining, and owning their own infrastructure. It offers robust suite of tools, techniques, and enables businesses to leverage their data effectively uh, for decision-making and gaining those competitive edges. Uh, analytics as a service differs from traditional warehousing solutions in a multitude of ways. Some of the key ways are infrastructure and traditional data warehousing. Organizations are responsible for building and maintaining their own hardware and software infrastructure the servers, the storage, the networking, the database systems. With analytics as a service, that infrastructure is hosted and managed by a cloud provider, and that eliminates the need for upfront infrastructure investments and ongoing maintenance costs. Analytics as a service offers scalability advantages over traditional data warehousing. In traditional setups, organizations need to anticipate their peak data processing and storage requirements and invest in infrastructure accordingly for those peaks and valleys. With analytics as a service, the cloud provider can scale up or down the resources based off the organization's needs. And that allows for elastic scalability and cost optimization for companies. Uh, speaking of cost, uh, traditional data warehousing requires significant upfront investment in hardware, software licenses, IT staff. Additionally, there are ongoing costs such as maintenance, upgrades, troubleshooting, issues that may come up. Analytics as a service follows a page go model, where organizations pay for the resources and the services they consume on a subscription basis. This allows for a greater cost flexibility and reduces the financial barriers to entry. Without expertise and experience in the analytics space, those costs can grow exponentially. 
expertise. Analytics as a service providers offer specialized analytic expertise, including data modeling, data integrations, data governance, advanced analytic capabilities using the industry's best practices. We have teams of data scientists and analysts who can assist organizations in deriving insights from their data and building predictive models. Traditional data warehousing solutions require organizations to build and maintain their own analytics teams and seek external consulting services, which can be you know, very expensive and time consuming. And the last one is agility and time to value. Analytics as a service enables organizations to quickly get started with analytics initiatives without the need for lengthy infrastructure setup, configuration. Uh, the cloud-based nature of analytics as a service allows for rapid deployment, integration with existing data sources. That agility helps organizations to accelerate their time to value and respond more effectively to changing business needs. But I'm interested in your thoughts, Ethan. Do you have anything to add for that? Yeah, Brian, that was a great overview of the analytics as a service and some of the benefits of that. I think overall, I would just add that analytics as a service is uh, more flexible, cost-effective, and scalable compared to traditional data warehousing solutions. It allows many organizations to focus on getting insights out of their data rather than worrying about infrastructure management, which enables them to make data-driven decisions and innovation. Thank you both for that answer for the initial question, because those are all things that I think in many arenas in the workplace would benefit any type of situation. So I think every everything that you mentioned there really is a key aspect to just about anything. Yeah. And the maturity of our platform and our offering of analytics as a service is instrumental to our success, right? We have the industry best practices in place. We're using the latest and greatest of all the security measures that are out there. We are constantly reading and reviewing the best way to do things to make it even more productive for companies. So having all of that already in-house and being able to offer that to all of our clients is, uh, is a strength of ours. We talked a little bit about some benefits of having this solution. What are some of the other key benefits that companies can gain from using this type of solution? I think there are probably three additional benefits uh, that we should mention. By relying on analytics as a service, companies can offload the complexities of infrastructure management and maintenance. Uh, this allows organizations to focus their resources and efforts on what they're good at, their core competencies and strategic business initiatives, rather than getting bogged down in IT infrastructure management. Uh, the second benefit that we didn't mention previously was the ability to have enhanced collaboration and accessibility. One of the problems we see a lot is data ends up siloed. So marketing can't necessarily talk with HR and HR may not talk well with what's happening on the production floor. So uh, we're able to come in with Honeycomb and remove those data silos, bring data into one lake house architecture, and this allows seamless collaboration and accessibility to teams across different locations. They can access that data, share that data. They can have dashboards that are integrated and utilize different data points across the different data sets that previously wouldn't have been able to talk to each other. And this kind of environment fosters collaboration and it really allows improved decision-making across the org. And the last thing I wanna bring up is uh, something Brian touched on briefly and that's security and data governance. Homegrown solutions or self-hosted solutions, are, they get really complex really quick, where analytics as a service often had robust security measures built in, including data encryption, access controls, and regular security audits. They also handled backup and disaster recovery, ensuring business continuity and reducing the risk of data loss. Additionally, analytics as a service providers can assist organizations in implementing data governance practices to ensure data quality, compliance, and privacy. Brian, is there anything you'd like to add to that? I think you nailed it. Overall, analytics as a service empowers companies to leverage data effectively, make their informed data-driven decisions, and that gains them a competitive edge in the market. Right now, that's a, that's a big deal. It offers cost savings, scalability, expertise, agility. It allows organizations to focus on their core business 
while we help them harness the power of their data to provide analytics and reports in a fashion that helps them drive that business better. So I want to stay on something, and this is actually part of my next question to you guys, but it has to do with collaboration. And really, we're living now in a new world where we have many employees who are remote, where maybe a corporation has smaller satellite offices around their state or even just the nation. So talk to me a little bit more about how how does Honeycomb improve collaboration and communication among team members? Because we're facing this as an organization where we have employees in about 22, 23 states nationwide. And so those folks are obviously part of our teams. Now I'm talking internally, but when an organization uses a feature like Honeycomb, how does that provide a positive impact to improve that collaboration and communication among their teams? It's a really great question. Um, with working from home being so common now, something that all companies are dealing with, having a centralized data access point makes that seamless. Analytics as a service provides a central repository for the data, making it easily accessible by team members regardless of their location. So wherever they are in the world, we have some clients that are even in different countries, all using the same type of dashboard. That eliminates the need to transfer, transfer the data manually and rely on outdated spreadsheets, local databases, emailing data back and forth. Team members can access the same exact up-to-date data. So you can be sure that everybody's looking at consistent information and the same information from the same data source. And that helps facilitate collaboration. Real-time data sharing, Analytics as a service enables real-time data sharing and collaboration. Since they're working, like I said, on shared data sets, dashboards, and reports simultaneously, they can be communicating back and forth about these. They can find different ways to leverage this data, even possibly build enhancements or things that they would like to see in the future. And this route really allows them to make data-driven decisions collectively, and that improves communication and alignment within a lot of teams. Analytics as a service solutions offer interactive dashboards and visualization capabilities. Those tools enable team members to explore data visually, identify patterns, see findings effectively. So it really makes your information pop up and stand out to you. The visualizations make it much easier for people to communicate complex data sets and information complex trends that may not be noticed through just raw data. And that helps facilitate clearer and more engaging communication. When we're all looking at the same type of visual, you can really drive home your points and see the trends very effectively. And the last thing would be the permissions and notifications. So I'll loop these together. So the permissions control and data security Analytics as a service provides granular permission controls, which allows organizations to define their access levels. We can go as nested or as high as needed. If everybody can see the data, then that's great. But we can go you know, completely role-based into this data. We can go team level into this data. And that ensures that sensitive and confidential data is only shared or authorized with individuals that are allowed to access or have authority to access that information. That controlled access, again, encourages collaboration with those inner teams and departments. And it also helps maintain the data governance and compliance because you're not sharing data with other team members that aren't allowed to see that same type of data or not privileged to see that type of data. And then the notifications and alerts. Analytics as a service offers notifications and alerting features via email, SMS, different methods. Um, team members can set up alerts based off specific conditions or thresholds. If there's unusual trends, performance metrics, anomalies, if something has been failing to run, we, we get notifications of that. So we're able to keep the team informed in real time, ensuring very prompt responses and that everybody's notified when these things occur so that we can all get together and discuss and, and collaborate on it. Nathan, anything that, that I may have missed? Yeah, that was great, Brian. I would just add that, you know, by enabling uh, those items you listed off, so centralized data access, real-time collaboration, the interactive reports or visualizations, 
and then the ability to share those reports across the organization uh, that really uh, allows analytics as a service uh, solutions such as Honeycomb to foster um, excellent communication and collaboration across the org. Additionally, we've touched on this a few times, but it allows us to break down those data silos. And part of the problem with the data silos is there's not typically a uniform data type or data source uh, across the org. So you have some parts of the org utilizing Excel spreadsheets, and then you might have other parts of the org utilizing a Microsoft Project, and then you might have other parts of the org that live in Salesforce, for example, and those just don't talk well natively together. So our solution allows us to centralize that data and collect insights and ultimately increasing the improved uh, teamwork and outcomes from that. It definitely sounds like Honeycomb is a very customizable solution, if I if I may say so myself. Yeah, yeah 100%. Uh, we have automated the deployment of all the processes uh, within it. But within Honeycomb, we're not confined to like a strict set of connectors or integration pipelines. We have a set kind of pre-built configurable pipelines that allow us to pull from any number of data sources. And we can easily configure new ones on the fly for clients who may have a data source that we haven't seen before. One example of that is a client we were working with last summer who heavily utilized Microsoft Project, and there's no native way to get that data out of the project without the end user having to uh, be heavily involved doing manual edits and copying data, which is extremely error prone. So we're able to write a little bit of Python to extract that data into JSON, and then uh, we can process it uh, like any other data set. So Honeycomb is very powerful in that sense. So that sounds like a good example of how Honeycomb provided a significant improvement for a company. Would you happen to have another great example like that one? Yeah, yeah. I've got a couple I can share. The first would be a nonprofit that we work with. They have multiple vendors, like many organizations do, and they have multiple systems of record uh, within their org. The data from these disparate data sources was aggregated together and presented in a single dashboard. And this provided previously unrealized value to their leadership and a more comprehensive view of their data. And then maybe a more concrete example uh, that we can put some numbers on would be that we have a Honeycomb team that worked with the supply chain department for a global manufacturer, and they provided shipping savings nearing $1 million a year by minimizing air shipping costs and defaulting to ocean when possible based upon business rule. This solution uses RPA and Honeycomb segmentation to automate when to ship via ocean versus air and to only ship minimum quantities via air. The shipping cost reduction due to automation of ocean versus air shipping decisions decreases costs by 84%. This also removed approximately 312 hours per year in manual efforts prone to human error. With the new expedite criteria, they are saving nearly $1 million per year on shipping costs for items that would have been shipped via air when it wasn't necessary and we are now shipping via ocean instead. Pretty impressive. Yeah. That is impressive. I mean, anything, anytime you're saving somebody a million dollars a year. Yeah. I'd say that's impressive. That's, <laughs> that's 100%. great. To end, what do companies need to get the most out of Honeycomb? Obviously, this is a great example of how a significant of an improvement Honeycomb can make. And so to end today's episode, I want to ask, what do companies need to get the most out of Honeycomb? Because we've described it, we, we've touched on some great improvements that organizations have had. We touched on some of the key benefits, but as things go, how can you get the most by using Honeycomb? It's a really good question. Honeycomb offers a, a broad range of offerings, right? So uh, we've dealt heavily into the analytics as a service. We offer data as a service. And historically, companies would have to clearly define objectives. They've kept it quality data, technically skilled resources to build a functional data analytics solution. But with Honeycomb, we eliminate all those barriers. Through our delivery model, the delivery team will meet you exactly where you are and walk with you in your data journey. We've talked a lot about collaboration as far as the organizations are concerned, but there's a heavy collaboration between Moser the Honeycomb platform, and the organizations themselves. We're hand-in-hand right hand with you for that journey. A delivery team specifically composed generally of 
five to eight consultants with broad range and different skill sets. So that balanced team allows us to follow our 6D methodology. Nate, do you want to delve some into the 6D process that we have? Yeah, sure. Um, so as you would expect, the 6D process has six points in it. Discover, dream, design, develop, deploy, and drive. The first D, discover, is a process by which we work with the organization to determine what are the motivations behind assuming some sort of data and analytics posture and what are the pain points that exist currently in the org and how we might be able to build a solution specifically for them to resolve those pain points. The second D, dream, is where we answer the question how. After we discover what the pain points are, we sit down together and determine what might be the best way to solve this problem. And then the third D is design, where we iteratively work through what we have dreamed to design a process that will work for the client. And then the fourth D is develop. This is where our engineers uh, build and validate the solution. Once again, iterating with the client to ensure it meets their needs. This isn't a do the discovery once, build it, and then deliver it to the client type of situation. This is iterative throughout the whole process. The clients are always engaged with the process. The fifth D is deploy. So what we have built and developed is now deployed to a production area. And then the sixth D is a drive. So once something is built, we don't walk away. We continue to work with the client to figure out what might be the next thing that uh, is on their bucket list that we can help out with. We make sure their uh, constituents are trained on the system we have built and they understand how it works and just do uh, whatever we can to make sure that they are successful. Unlike a homegrown solution where you may have one or two IT resources partially dedicated to data warehousing and reporting, our 6D methodology allows us to bring to bear the comprehensive knowledge of the delivery team which drastically reduces cost and time to value. Yeah, that sure sounds like something we discussed back in season three with uh, Adrian and Sarah on data as a service. Um, obviously, you guys do belong to the same division. And so it is obviously by the process of osmosis, how we do things here at Mosher. But I want to go back to what Brian was talking about, about the teams that we put together. And, and before we we let you guys go. Brian, you mentioned we put a team together of anywhere between five to eight consultants. When we start a process with an organization, how does that look like? Can you explain to us a little bit more about when we start that process, how would that look like to that company? Yeah. So it'd be based off of their business needs. We typically would have some type of product owner uh, that'd be the managing with the, with the organization themselves. We'd have engineers on staff that would help with the infrastructure the softwares that we'll be using in large part and building out the pipeline to acquire, ingest, transform, enrich the data as needed so that the folks that are also on the team for reporting aspect can do their amazing job, right? Of making these visually appealing, really hit home what the organization would like to see as far as trends, data that's important to them, any information that's going to help them make data-based decisions that are gonna drive uh, their organization forward. So the team is very collective. We have a diverse background. There's nothing that the team would not have encountered in the past. We use that experience to drive innovative solutions uh, for the organizations going forward. And that's what we're known for here at Motion Consulting is making sure that we have the expertise to guide you in your process. And actually, let me correct something that I said. I said at season two with Sarah and Adrian, I actually got the wrong Watts. It was Tim Mack and Sean Watts who joined us for season four in our episode of data management as a service. And with that, Nathan, Ryan, thank you very much for joining us today on Ask Anything. I really appreciate it. I learned something new about this process. And of course, I know Honeycomb all too well, but if you have questions about Honeycomb, please don't forget to go to our website, mojoit.com, where you'll find a lot of information. And hey, maybe you get to talk to one of these guys in the future. Yeah, thanks, Juan. Appreciate it. Thanks, Juan. Thank you for listening in to this week's edition of Ask Anything, presented by Mosher Consulting. We hope you enjoyed listening to Nathan Reinert and Brian McDonald talk to us about why an analytics platform solution would be a key asset to your business. Join us next time when we continue to dive deeper with our resident experts and what they're currently working on. 
Remember to send us your ideas or topics via our social media feeds. In the meantime, please remember to give us a rating and subscribe to our feed wherever you get your podcasts. Until then, so long, everybody.